The world of journalism lost a giant. Alan Austin was a producer and writer of award-winning documentaries. Austin was also one of the original four who introduced WCCO's iTeam to viewers. His work here at CCO received two national Emmys, a Columbia Service Award, and a Peabody. Reg Chapman shows us tonight how he's being remembered for the impact he had on the world of investigative reporting. I always considered him uh, my big brother. In the world of journalism, Don Shelby says Al Austin was a giant to everyone who knew him. He was not only the most erudite reporter I'd ever met in my life, vastly read, uh, new things that uh, uh, an average person would never know. Shelby says Austin was serious every day he came to work. We wanted to find out if we're getting our money's worth. We are not. He was also the very best writer that I had ever encountered in my life, and I owe him a great deal. Austin, Shelby, Mike Sullivan, and Larry Schmidt were the founding members of WCCO's I-Team. Austin was the heart. He believed that investigative reporting should not be done as just a litany of facts presented by a prosecutor, for instance. He said we have to embed these facts within a story that people will understand that people will gravitate to. And the soldier, the grunt, counts the days and goes out looking for it. Viewers did gravitate to the television whenever an I-Team story hit the air. Austin's reporting from Vietnam, Cambodia, and Northern Ireland landed him a Columbia University DuPont Silver Baton, a Peabody, and two Edward R. Murrow Awards. Austin went on to write, produce, and narrate nine documentaries on PBS's Frontline, Nova, and the Critical Events series. I'm interpreting what I felt and grasped from his uh, work and his work ethic and his writing. Something he said uh, at, at, a, at an, an evening dinner, he might say two sentences that would have the effect of an entire college education for me. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Al Austin died after a battle with cancer. He was 83 years old.